Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Welcome if you're new here, I am Mustaf and I build in The Sims. For today's build I want to do something different. We're still building a house but I want to try a few shapes that I have never tried before and I'll get into that when we're building. However, before we jump into the game, I just want to say that as I'm recording this, we are just over 900 subscribers and I just want to say that that is so mind-blowing. I can even fathom that number. I can't believe that 900 different people subscribe to my channel. That is just completely insane and and I am overwhelmed in the best way possible. So thank you for all the love you've shown in my past video, for subscribing, for all of your likes and of course for viewing, for all of your comments. I really really appreciate them and they really mean a lot to me, especially since I still feel like I'm in the starting phase, so I just wanted to have a quick second to thank you guys and I still can't believe it, it's so unreal. Another thing is, you can follow me on Twitter if you're there, or X. Uh, my handle is Wistofu, I will leave it in the description if it's easier for you. And all of the builds that I do, I upload them to the gallery. My ID is Cats Against Crime. I will also leave everything in the description so it's easier for you to just copy and paste. That being said, let's jump into the game. I just realized I didn't update my mods. I'm gonna do that and we'll be right back. So we're in the slot in the world of Winderberg. If you're wondering what updating the mods mean is just downloading the latest version and then deleting the one you have in your mods folder and then just placing the new version in the folder. And since we're talking about this topic, make sure that you're downloading from a reliable source, uh, mainly the source that the modder puts their mods on, so their platform, maybe a Patreon. And I say this because some people have been affected by viruses recently, so just a quick heads up if you want to download any mods, um, just keep that in mind. And yeah, we're in the slot in Winderberg and what I wanted to do today is I want to do a house that is shaped like a honeycomb. Hen honeycomb. Honeycomb. So I want to do a house that is shaped like a honeycomb. I have a few ideas to try and do that. So I think we can start by just placing a 3x3 three because three, I think that's a good width for for what is going to be the honeycomb shape and then one thing about this idea that i have is we want to use the roof tool and we want to make it you know we want it to have this shape however we have this wall here that we don't want showing because we kind of want to have just the roof to have this illusion of a diagonal wall so a trick to do this is you can make this roof as small as possible, so one by one, and then you can pull out the eaves just to the width that you want them to. So for example, if I press shift and drag this one out, and I do the same thing for the one on the side, for example, this is without the shift, and this is with shift. So this is why we hold shift. And so we have this shape, and I think I want to make this taller. Let's maybe place another one down, because this is it's gonna have to have two levels. And now what we want to do is kind of replicate what we have here. So I'm just gonna copy it and place it over on this side. And now I'm gonna use the same trick. So I'm gonna pull all of the eaves in. You can just extend it and make the eaves like this. So we have half of the shape. I think we can still drag this maybe a little bit back and pull the eave even a little bit longer, like so, just to have that illusion and we can see that it's looking kind of awkward so i'm gonna change a few things around i'm actually gonna expand this like so and then i'm gonna put this bit here at the front I'm gonna adjust the eave and i did that just because we have this seamless wall down here but this part here i think we can just hide with some bushes and landscaping and currently we have half of a honeycomb so let's do the other half we can just copy and paste this here and i'm gonna expand this room again twice and i think i'm gonna do the same with this one up here i want to have kind of a cluster of them so i'm gonna extend this bit and we have here like already a uh, one of the honeycombs but i kind of want to make one like up here so let's try to do that we want it to be three wide let me extend this further and maybe let's push this here as well. I think I already want to put some sort of balcony here just to frame it a little bit better. Okay, now we just need to copy this little bit and place it here. 
we can push this further and now let's finish off with these here so i'm just using the same tricks again and again to put to pull the eaves out depending on the distance of the roofs okay now let's just finish with the room here so it's taking a little bit of the shape that i want we still have some awkward spots but we can fill those in i'm actually thinking these two should be brought up what i want to do is add another honeycomb up top so we can just do this repeat the same that we did here it's looking a little bit wonky right now but let's trust the process and hopefully it will reward us with something good so far it has the shape of a honeycomb Kind of. Let's maybe make them a little bit bigger. We can turn these into rentals. I kind of didn't want to do that just because for rent is still kind of buggy for some people, I think. And that's one of the reasons why I haven't gotten the new pack yet, the new stuff pack. And if you're not aware, a lot of bugs with the crystals growing and body proportions of the Sims looking very weird. And this is something that's been happening for a really long time with EA releases new packs and they don't fix the packs that they've released before and every new release breaks the game in a new way so people are obviously angry because we're spending our money on on this game which isn't very cheap and people are feeling like they are not being heard they have posted something on twitter saying that they are working on a fix for these problems but i think there needs to be a more streamlined way to approach these issues and more importantly have a way to avoid them because now every time we get a pack people are just expecting to have bugs and as a company i don't think you want that or you wouldn't want that but anyway, bugs aside, since we have so many new people coming in and since this is a fairly new channel, I think it would be a good idea to talk a little bit about myself while I am building. And this part right here is very repetitive, so I think it's a good time to do that. I am from Portugal, from this little island called Madeira, but I don't currently live there. I live in Lisbon. I moved here when I was 18 and I came here for college and I pretty much have been living here ever since. I only moved home during the pandemic for one or two years. But then after the pandemic, I got a job here in Lisbon. So I moved back and I've been living here ever since. I got my bachelor's in languages, literatures and cultures, which can be very broad. But basically my focus of study was in literature. I like to read a lot. And then my master's was in comparative studies with a focus on literature again, uh, but I didn't finish it because it was during the pandemic and I was, I got very unmotivated and I realized it wasn't where I, what I wanted to pursue. But yeah, I moved back to Lisbon and I work here now, I live here. This has been trickier than what I was expecting. And I'm thinking what else I can say about me. Um, well, some fun facts about me. I have been a vegetarian for seven years now. I obviously like gaming. I like The Sims. I play other games. I recently finished Breath of the Wild and I'm still in the morning process that it's finished. And I am currently reading Frankenstein and also Bliss Montage. If you like to read as well, I would like to know what you're reading. I always like knowing because it's, it's so interesting to see everyone's reading style. Also, you see how there is a weird spot here. I don't mind it from the inside, but from the outside, it looks kind of weird. If I try to close it off with a room, it disappears because it, roofs cannot exist inside a closed room. However, if I place just one wall on this side and then I draw another and I place it on the other side that it's missing, it doesn't delete it because the game doesn't recognize it as a full room. But it's also not open if you look at it from the inside. And now that little gap is reduced and it doesn't look so weird from the outside. So yeah, I think we can make some other roofs here. I wish this tree wasn't here. Okay, so we got the shape or the basis pretty much down. We obviously have a lot of edges to refine. So instead of this roof here, I think we should just complete it like so, and then just fill it in like so. And I think we can extend it a little bit, just so all of these parts look intentional, you know, like this one. And over here, we could even do like a sort of, we can have the same slanted roof and probably have like a glass ceiling. So that's something we can check later if it works. But yeah, continuing talking about myself, I kind of got lost there. I run a cat meme account on Twitter. It's at catpixdiller. 
I will also leave it in the description if you're interested in taking a look at that. And I don't know if you have guessed from my EAID, I really like cats, so that's why I have that meme account. But yeah, some of you also said in my last video, love from France, love from the US, and I kind of like that. So if you want to kind of introduce yourselves too in the comments, please do. I, I like knowing where you're from and I like that the Sims community is, can connect from all over the world. Okay, so I think I want to change the texture of the roofs to, to some kind of this because they have texture on both sides. So it's not white under like this one, for example. So I think I want to use that. And this texture kind of gives a eco-friendly vibe. So I think we can go for that. And I think it makes sense for a house like this. And one thing right away that I know I want to do is include a lot of greenery in this build. Actually, I'm not sure about these. I kind of want to make this smaller again. I think there's something we can do with these kind of weird side spots that we have. One idea that I just had is to kind of embrace them and in a way that makes it more integrated into the build. So what I'm going to do is place or try to make a balcony here. And then we can even have for this ceiling part, we do this and we can leave that middle open and place this one here. I think it doesn't matter how much we add, there's still going to be a weird spot. So I think we try to do structures like these. Then we can set this back. I was experimenting with this a little bit and I think I prefer the look of this over what we had before. So let's add a balcony to the bottom floor as well. This is such an odd build, but hopefully it will turn into something beautiful. And I think I want to kind of have the same here that we have here. I think I want to switch back to these fringes for the roof. Okay, and just like that, I think it's looking way more intentional than it was before. And now we're just completing this side. And one thing that I already know I want to add later is kind of a glass roof here. Just so this part of this apartment has this little bit of sunlight. We can add that in right now. I'm going to choose, of course, this hexagon roof again. And my idea later is to put a window here so it lets the light through. Something of this sort. The beauty of the sims is that I can try to do the same trick and it's not gonna work. Okay, that's fine. I think we have our general shape down. The interior is looking mortifying, so we can take care of that right now. Let's delete all of these walls. I think we can place maybe some windows and doors. Let's just do these for now. And then for doors, maybe we can use this open door on the sides. I think I'm kind of liking this style more just because it doesn't break up so much. My problem with it is that this door is, isn't as see-through as the window. I completely forgot we had the same windows from Spade, so problem solved. We can even pair some with a double door, some with a single door. And I think I want to add this here just to put some greenery on it. And I don't want to make very complicated shapes because the build itself is complicated already and we have these hexagons here, so I don't think we need any more. Unless, you know what? I don't hate it. Let's leave that in actually. And let's do the same over here. I'm thinking maybe for these parts at the front, it doesn't matter which fence we use, it's gonna look weird. It doesn't connect to the roof next to it. There's something we can do, which is use some debug fences, or we can try making our own. So I've made a little progress here. We have made this fence with the tool mod. And the good thing about the tool mod is you don't need to have it installed to download builds that used it. For example, if you downloaded this, everything would be placed the same. And I have also added greenery on top just to kind of hide these windows clipping from under. I'm just gonna do the back of the build again. And for the interior, I was thinking each level can be a different unit. So this bottom floor would be just one unit, this one another unit, and then up here these two last floors can be one single unit because obviously this is a very small room and this is also the smallest of the three so I think it would make more sense. But I say we continue the journey of introducing some more greenery around like this one. We can add this big cluster of plants. I think I'm gonna add a balcony here. So the family or the sims living on this one have an enclosed patio of some sort. 
Let's maybe pick out some flooring also. This eco lifestyle one is my go-to and I think it looks good paired with this wallpaper because then I'm also thinking how you can get up to the other floors. And I think it would make more sense to do that through the outside. Actually, let's swap these railings because the black was looking kind of out of place there. And we also have the matching fence, so it's okay. Let's move the lot and try to center it a little bit more. And in the back, I thought we could have some sort of communal spaces for all the Sims living here. I was thinking we could go all out with this honeycomb theme and make some planters in the shape of a honeycomb as well. Okay, let's just hope this works. Okay, let's do something like that and we can embellish it later. Over on this side, maybe you can have some eating areas, some toys for the kids, for kids to play, maybe a little toddler pool. I think that would be cute. I want to place some hedges around as well to kind of hide the foundation that we have here. And also, of course, to embellish the space because this is turning into this eco community living type of thing. So just looking around at what we did, we just placed the hedges around and I think it makes such a difference. Oh, wait, this doesn't really make sense here because we have some stairs here. So we can just move these like so we can go ahead and try to make a pathway that works with this. I want something that looks more organic. OK, I like this a little bit more. This is a perfect spot to have a planter with some plants. These from the horse French pack and they are kind of perfect to kind of frame that a planter here. And then we have a version just in a straight line and I feel like this spot here just needs some flowers. I said some flowers, which sounds like sunflowers. And now I, I want to add some sunflowers. So let's just add a couple more in. OK, I went a little bit crazy with them, but maybe they use these sunflowers to make uh, some oil since this is a very green eco space. So let's extend this pathway to the back side of the build. Let's maybe do a couple of these along the side. And now we can use the same greenery we used on the rooftop to make it a little bit prettier. So I'm painting everything inside. This is where you can grow some crops. And then with a bigger and softer brush, I'm going to go around and kind of paint on the edges just to have that little bit of dirt going around. And this is something that we can also do all around the build. Okay, and I think that instantly made it look better. For these planters here, I think we can go on the gallery, we can type in crops, and then you have a selection of plants and trees. This one seems to have a good variety of plants and trees. This one by Angelica Kohler. So we can place the room in our lot. And it's as simple as doing this. So shout out to Angelica Kohler on the gallery for this absolutely beautiful selection of crops. Maybe we could do these from City Living and we can pretend that the people that live here painted them. Let's add a giant hexagon here. How about we add some of this wisteria? Fun fact, the name I chose was tofu actually comes from the word wisteria. Don't ask me what it means. I don't know what to tell you. And I think it's a good opportunity to use these solar panels as well. Let's make them green to go with the greenery we have around. We can even add this little table so they can sell the produce that they make. Let's maybe add some colored ones so it looks like the kids helped painting this, these little houses. We have these ones from the taller pack or something. I, I for, forget the name. We can add them in. These are insect farms, not bee houses things. I don't know my insect. And I want to place them like this. Let's add this planter here. How about these city living ones? Because they also have some paintings on them. This is looking more kid friendly than I had anticipated. But hey, I'm wondering if we can combine these two. Honestly, I kind of like this idea. Let's keep that in. And let's place some lights down. Let's get into the actual furnishing. Let's do maybe some light wood. Actually, I'm tempted to divide the spaces. Let me get this U-shaped kitchen. Let's do a four-seater by the entrance. Should we go for some yellow? And since we kind of want to go for this yellow vibe, we can add some more yellow in, in the living room. It's so weird having this square-shaped living and dining. I think we can solve this problem easily. Place a wall here in the middle just to break up the space. 
I kind of want to replace all of this. So I went in and changed the counters because I wasn't liking the look of the other ones. Let's just add some appliances in. Let's do also the sink from the cool kitchen pack. Then we can do cabinets only on this wall. And let's do a breakfast nook here. Let's do these soft green chairs and let's do just a small table. Let's do this one with the light wood in it. And since this is a house with a kid, I want there to be some clutter to make it look like they have this kind of busy life with the kid. Let's reorganize this right here. That looks good. I have decided to put even more clutter on this little on this counter and by the way with the better build by mod you can actually favorite items so this is some of the few items that i have favorited this is something that i've wanted in the game for a really long time so so glad i i can have that even through a mod and it's also by twisted maxi which is the same modder that did the tool mod i want to put these on the fridge yeah okay so it's a new day and we still have pretty much all of the interiors to decorate let's maybe do this one from the bowling stuff back and let's get a tv out let's do this big one i think this light green rug works well with the space and i like how it is framed in the space i wish we had more smaller coffee tables like this one because it works better when the space is like kind of squished like we have in these apartments. Actually, I think the blue might work better with the yellow in this room. And I think I wanna keep this space here free because this is where the Sims are going to be walking the most. Actually, let's switch for this little thing here. It looks like a kid painted it. We have these drawings from Growing Together. I think we can scale them down and try to place them place them on the fridge. Then with the help of the tool mod, I'm gonna make them, I'm gonna push them closer to the fridge door. And now I just want to rotate them to make it more realistic. I think it adds a nice touch. We can add some more kids decoration around the place. I think I want to move these boxes here. And along this wall, we should have some bookshelves. And I'm thinking of these from the book nook. I like this hanging plant a lot. I'm thinking this wall also needs to be with this brick. So I was looking at the footage from yesterday and I realized that I simply stopped talking about myself and I didn't even talk about what I do for work. And I feel like that's an important part of oneself. So it's kind of weird to explain, but basically I work with the language aspect of virtual assistants. So something like Siri or Hey Google or Alexa. And then my job is to make sure that the language part of what people say is actually making sense. And this is how I can best explain it. And besides that, I also teach Portuguese as a freelancer. So as you can imagine, between having a full-time job and also teaching, which is a very demanding job sometimes, it's hard to kind of try to reconcile everything and also adding, making videos for YouTube as well. But this is something that I've been wanting to do for a really long time. And I feel like I am fortunate enough to be able to do that now. So I wanted to pursue this because, as I said, I really like sharing and building in The Sims. It's something that I wanted to explore. And that's also one of the reasons why I don't post as much as I would like to. Because, you know, the rent is due. But it's such a nice hobby for me. And also to explore a little bit of my interests in interior design and architecture in a way that, you know, I didn't go to college to study this, but I still like it a lot. But yeah, I'm really happy that I'm doing these videos now. So we can maybe add some greens in here as well. This is a really nice green color. And I think we can bring in the brick as well. And I'm thinking we have this weird space here, but I think we can fit this wardrobe or this closet. I think I prefer it in this swatch. Hey, maybe this sim really likes green and maybe I am that sim because I am very into green. So, I mean, as you can tell, I want to do these round side tables. I don't think I've ever used them in this watch and they actually look kind of pretty. I think we can add a mirror over here. But actually, let's do it over on this side. We bring something like this. We can add some pillows because this is such a hard material to sit on. And I'm actually going to swap these out for these more discreet ones like so i can probably add a ceiling fan and i like this color i think it grounds the room a little bit i can place the mirror over on this side and let's get more plants out as well okay now i'm thinking that 
this middle wall here should be replaced with these slabs. Okay, I think this is a good balance of breaking the space without having to divide it too much, especially when you have all of these windows and all the light can just travel through. Okay, I think I'm happy with this amount of clutter. Let's maybe add some paintings here that maybe the, the children of these sims made. Lastly, we have the kids' bedroom. We could do some lilac. Fun fact, green and lilac are probably my favorite colors. Let's add some lilac walls here. This height chart is so cute. We should probably do something like this because it lets some light in still. We can do a purple lilac -y chair. Let's do this watch instead and rotate it just slightly because kids bedrooms are messier. I'm gonna keep that in. Let's do a little backpack here. Let's use this cat shaped lamp and let's get this big kitty in the corner here. I think for this blank wall here we should do some posters. I'm kind of going all out with this but I think this is so pre-teen. It just seems like the kind of stuff I did when I was a teenager too. Let's do also this cat lamp. Maybe let's add some paintings also here. Let's do some lilac to tie in. Or let's actually do this matching one. Let's put some more decorations and activities around to make you feel like a true kid's bedroom. How about we just squeeze this in? Let's finish this bedroom off. Or actually, let's do this one. Okay, I think that's our bedroom finished. For this second unit, I think we can go a little bit darker. We can do some wood accents as well. It's looking very executive so far. Maybe they are a lawyer who fight for environmental causes. We can use these counters from Snowy Escape because they're modern and the home shuffle, the home chef, the chef hustle girl. We can do these shelves. Well, it's probably not a good idea to have the oven against a full glass window. So let's switch them places. Let's add some pots in and let's maybe do this modern one. Okay, I don't hate that. I'm thinking of this one. I think it's so on brand for what we're going to do here. And I think I want to use these on this apartment so much better let's do a dark brown rug or actually if we do this layout we can still bring this out and instead of a dining area we can just have stools in here okay i think i like this more i'm just gonna do this little trick i put this one in and delete it i wanted to kind of be out of the way from this pathway these are some of my favorite bookshelves in the game and let's clutter these shelves now for the most part i want it to be clean and kind of look professional we could do this bed from dream home decorator maybe in this watch we could probably place two of these up here let's bring in the same curtains let's put this wardrobe here and then let's move on to the desk area well this is close enough let's have this expensive looking high-tech computer okay i think i like this muted version adding this notebook makes sense as well since this is a very career oriented person and i want to use these so bad yeah let's use them okay that's pretty much our second apartment done and then moving on to the third i think we can keep this flooring i want to do something fun after the apartment we just did so maybe let's have a red kitchen we can kind of go this strong blue color with the red let's maybe place a couch in here okay i had this idea of maybe doing like we used some slabs in this apartment i think we could do something similar here to divide the space a little bit because i was struggling to figure out a floor plan that actually worked let's try this out and see if it makes any difference and I also kind of changed the kitchen a little bit. And then we can possibly make some kind of built-in unit here. I'm thinking of using these cabinets. And then we can place a TV here. Let's do these shelves instead, actually. I don't think I have used them ever. But they look nice with the little divider. An orange couch might actually be better for this space. It's almost what we're looking for. Okay, ultimately, I decided not to go with that. If you liked it, I'm sorry. I think we can get away with having just two chairs. I've just been cluttering up this living room and I'm liking how this corner is turning out. Let's add this here because it has a nice orange color as well. And I kind of want to leave these two counters free for the Sims to cook. Let's just do a kettle over on this one and call it a day. And I think this is it for the common area so we can move into the parents bedroom i think we can try some 
soft blues for now. Honestly, let's try doing a different layout. Let's use these side tables from Snowy Escape. We can do these bedside lamps. I don't mind this square rug. Maybe if we do it like this. Let's do this one. And we can add a wardrobe in here. Let's do this one. This is such a pretty object. I'm gonna add a mirror. We can do this one and... Or we can try to squeeze two of them and make it look like the painting is on top of them. I think we did the painting all together and instead paint the wall a different color to have an accent here just so it doesn't look so bright. Okay I think that's a simple bedroom but we kind of needed a simpler space especially since it isn't as big as the other bedrooms that we did. Now I think this will be the challenging room out of all of them and I'm thinking that we can have a teenage sim that likes to paint. Uh, they can be an artist. Let's do this bed from the horse ranch pack and this artsy side table. Let's add these art clutter pieces, just adding in these drawings as well. Maybe they use these as references. Let's pair them together like this. And then maybe some art that they like. I want to add this rug that has some paint splatter on it. It's perfect but for this bedroom. And then we have this free space here where we can place some sort of wardrobe. We can even do a sort of open wardrobe concept. Then we just put the clothes on. Maybe we should go more neutral on this because this is a busy bedroom. And we can probably just hide a mirror in here. And I don't mind it being kind of hidden by the mirror because it kind of shows that this person has been building this kind of art space for a while. Let's also add some shoes in. Now let's do a hanging plant maybe over here and I think that's it for this bedroom too. So we're only missing the bathrooms and then these outside areas. I'm gonna do them off camera really quick and then we will be back for the final tour. So here we are in the final build and this is what it ends up looking like. We have a better view of the side of it. This is what the backyard looks like. I added just a couple more things to make it more complete. And this is the back of the build. We have our little garden there with some hexagons. And this is the other side of the build. Let's go inside and check out all of the units. So to enter on the first unit, you go through this door and you are greeted right away with the dining area. Then you have these slabs that separate it from the living room, which is very kid friendly. It has some nice colors. There's a bookcase as well. And through this door, we have the patio. There's a little table with some seats and there's some stuff for the kids to do. Once we're back inside, we can go check the kids bedroom. So this is what it looks like. It's very pastel, it's very lilac, which is a color that I love. And I like how cluttered it is here. It's very, it's giving children vibes, at least to me. And then we're back into the living room and through this arch, we have a little breakfast nook here with this huge window. And over on this side, we have the kitchen with some drawings made by our little Sim. And then we have two doors here. So through the one on the left, you have the bathroom. It's very simple. It has a bathtub shower combo. And yeah, it's quite simple, but has everything you would need. And then through the other door, you have the parents' bedrooms. So a lot of greens in here, and you even have the windows, which kind of frame the greenery outside have this little sitting nook and yeah it's big but it kind of looks cozy at least I think it's the look that I was going for and then if we go outside again we can go around and if we take the stairs to the second level we are greeted by this larger formal dining area which is outside so it's quite nice in the summer we have a lounge here where you can have a drink and then inside the actual apartment we have this dark brown gray black interior which is very formal very serious but i kind of love it i think this is my favorite one out of all of the three but yeah we have the kitchen here we have a little lounge area and then through this door we have the bathroom it's very dark in here but i think bathrooms that are all black from top to bottom they have this very comforting feeling i don't know and they look so high-end and then through the other door we have the bedroom so it is 
also very dark, but it has some hints of blue, some other lighter colors. So we have the bed here. Here we have a working station. So we think this sim could be like a lawyer for, for environmental purposes. And then out here we have a balcony and I made it very simple. I just added some planters and also a yoga mat because I thought it would be so cool to meditate in a space like this. And then I added a, a bike and this is it for the second apartment. And then if we go and take the stairs again, it leads us to the third and last unit. And we are greeted by this little lounge area which has some greenery falling from the top. We have a little nook where you can eat outside, so that's nice since the inside only has two chairs and you can have up to three sims living here. So you can have barbecue here and then once inside we have this little dining nook. Over to the left we have the kitchen, it has a lot of blues with some orange accents and then turning to the right we have the living room so it has some of the same color swatches but there's a, a bit of clutter i try to add some personality through color and details and then over here on this balcony we have a planter and some more plants let's check out first the bathroom so it is quite a small bathroom they all are so i didn't include a lot because i wanted to be functional but i still wanted to make them pretty and this is my favorite bathroom from all of the three i love the colors in here and how just light and fresh it is and then back into the living room we have the other door next to it and this is the parents bedroom it's quite simple and i didn't make it crazy cluttered and we have this amazing window with the honeycomb roof next to it so it gives this incredible lighting but yeah just a really good place to relax then we go outside again and if we take these stairs up we get to the teenager's bedroom which is very art inspired or we think they are an artist and this is from the other angle what it looks like it's kind of messy but that is exactly what i was going for and I think all the little details add to the personality and make this seem very, very intentional. And just to finish off, this is kind of what you get in the back of the house. You have the little insect over here. You have this barbecue area here for the community to come together and have parties. And then down here we have the little community garden as well where you can plant and harvest and get your gardening skill up i love this planter with this painting and this is it for our house and i almost forgot we also have this table where you can sell some of the produce that you make and earn some extra money let me know what you think of this kind of green eco community living lot I would love to know which one is your favorite out of all the three. I think mine is probably the second one, the one that has a lot of dark woods and dark shades, just because it's so different from the other ones. But yes, I hope that you have liked this video. I just want to take a minute to once again, thank you all for subscribing and for supporting the channel for all of the love that you've given me on the last video. As I said, this is something that I wish I could do more of and hopefully I can keep sharing with you my builds and hopefully you will like them and I'm just really glad that you're here to follow along. This build will be up on the gallery. My ID is Cats Against Crime if you'd like to download. If you have any suggestions also let me know in the comments. I would absolutely love to know your opinion and at last thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.